नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द ट्वेल्थ एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम द फिजिक्स सेक्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व द फर्स्ट एलेवन एंड दिस इज अवर फिफ्टी सेवेंथ एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम द पेपर दैट इज ट्वेल्थ एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम फिजिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट द पी वी डायग्राम ऑफ एन आइडियल गैस ऑफ फिक्सड नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इज इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए टू डिस्टिंक्ट आडाबैट्स नेवर क्रॉस इच अदर ऑप्शन बी टू डिस्टिंक्ट आइसोथर्म्स नेवर क्रॉस इच अदर ऑप्शन सी एन आइसोथर्म एंड एन आडाबैट इंटरसेक्ट एट वन पॉइंट एंड ऑप्शन डी एन आइसोथर्म एंड एन आडाबैट इंटरसेक्ट एट मोर देन वन पॉइंट ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम बाय डिस्कसिंग ऑप्शन बी फर्स्ट ओके वी नो दैट इक्वेशन ऑफ एनी आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस एस पी वी इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट right pv equal to constant okay now in mathematics we learn this that when when two curves intersect each other okay when two curves intersect each other the point of intersection must satisfy equation of both the curves right obviously so suppose this is one isotherm pv equal to c1 and suppose this is another isotherm pv equal to c2 now if these were to intersect each other with c1 not being equal to c2 then what what we must conclude okay it's not possible why because both uh, this point lies on both the curves so it must satisfy the equation of both the curves but it can't do that because product of two real numbers is always unique okay you cannot have two products right uh, or value two different values two unequal values for the product of the same pair of real numbers right so pv equal to c2 and pv equal to c1 is not going to happen it is either pv equal to c2 or pv equal to c1 or none both cannot be true okay so two distinct isotherms never cross each other is actually a correct statement is actually a correct statement we can argue similarly for uh, the option a that is two distinct adabets also never cross each other so it has to be either option c or d okay option c and d say an isotherm and an adiabat intersect at one point or more than one point so okay this logically allows us to conclude that they must intersect at least once whether they intersect multiple times we don't know but at least once because uh, it has to be option c or d and both of them imply that at least once they intersect okay now what is the equation of our adiabatic process okay it's pv raised to gamma equal to constant yes where gamma is greater than 1 the ratio of specific heats cp by c okay so we can now draw a picture showing one isotherm and one adiabat intersecting once and using these equations we can argue why they can never intersect multiple times okay so this is the figure that i have drawn the red curve represents the isotherm and the blue curve represents the adiabat one of the many and uh, suppose they intersect at this uh, this particular point now why can they never again intersect each other okay the answer lies in the fact that for one of them for one of them we have pv equal to constant and for the other one we have pv raised to gamma equal to constant okay so once they intersect on either side the v coordinate is never going to be the same for the same p coordinate okay the v coordinate is never going to be the same for the same p coordinate okay you can see that it's not same they differ slightly and no matter where you draw the horizontal line the volume values will always be different why are they different why is the difference come where is the difference coming from the difference is coming from the fact that for our diabet the power of v is greater than 1 and for uh, isothermal process the power of v is equal to 1 it doesn't matter whether these constants are equal or unequal that is not of any concern to us even if they are equal they they are going to intersect once even if they are unequal they are again going to intersect only once they can come up with the relation relationship between those constants by picking or assuming the coordinates which satisfy both the equations okay yes so uh, they will never intersect multiple times 
so the incorrect statement is in d an isotherm and an adiabat intersect at more than one point okay so 57th option d i mean if you knew the if you already knew the correctness of the first three options you could have marked option d in seconds anyways that is 58 uh, sorry 57th in our next video we will be solving question number 58